Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back on the Xbox with a property maintenance business. Today we've been hired by a local farmer to build a new machine shed. He just picked up a new tractor, has a few more machines on order, and has outgrown his barn. It should be a lot of fun. It's right around a 40 by 60, uh, so it is pretty big here. And I'm actually just picking up the camera right after lunch. I stopped at the house to grab a bite to eat here. But here we have our F-350 work truck with a utility trailer. Now a few things, guys. Our case 370 is actually at the dealership for service, and I told them I needed a skin to get the job done so we are going to be using one of the dealerships SV280s and you guys know our old excavator is still broken down I still have not yet made a decision on if we're going to sell that or what we're going to do so I did end up renting another excavator for the day here but let's hop on in let's get on over to the job site as always guys there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms but I will say guys this F350 is one of my favorite trucks of all time here in Farm Sim. It's so cool even on the PC fits in really well with, uh, with all the name brand trucks as well here but first time taking on a construction job I'm so excited here we're expanding the proper maintenance from just taking care of things uh, to now putting up farm buildings and this is a pretty big thing. So this is a 40 by 60 pole barn. Over $100,000, guys, to put this thing in. And it's expensive. And we are going to get a big paycheck, which I'm so excited for. And hey, the more money we make, the more money we get to spend on new equipment. Now, I have been getting quite a few comments for more Xbox videos. They are in the works here. I am trying to average one or two every single week, along with the usual PC content, but I'm so excited for FS22, and I will be getting it both on PC and Xbox. Hope you guys are excited for that. That should be a lot of fun here, but the farm is actually almost right around uh, the edge of town here, so that works out uh, good for us, and he did say he does have his tractor outside, so we'll be able to take a look at that as well. We're coming up on the farm here. We actually have our rental ready to go here. One of the workers dropped the truck and trailer off, and I did have him pick it on up. Wow, that is one pretty fancy. It looks pretty fairly new as well, but let's hop on out. Let's go meet with a farmer, and then I'll catch you guys back for a quick job tour, and then we'll get right to work. Well guys, I just got off the phone with a farmer. He's actually out doing some field work a few miles away and he said he'll stop by in a bit here and uh, I already walked the job before with him so we should be good to go to get started here. But look at that guys, his brand new tractor. Wow, the 8345RT uh, here. Pretty cool. I've been always a fan of these. Uh, these things do look pretty sweet as well. But this is where we are going to be putting in the new pole barn and I just talked to him about this as well. He wants us to take this down. Looks like we're going to have to take this down. Should be as easy as taking down a tent here. But he used this to store, I believe he said, one of his trailers that he didn't want in the sun here. About 40 by 60, guys, is a huge project. And then he wants us to put gravel in front. No problem there. Uh, that should be uh, pretty easy. Uh, just uh, tailgate the gravel with a dump truck. Spread it with a skid. And that should be it here. We do have a little bit of dirt that needs to be dug on out. Now, this is farm soil, guys. I'm not sure how stable it is, but the sense of pole barn goes down it uh, the concrete floor is actually gonna be uh, floating off the uh, frame so that's gonna come in pretty handy here but I think why don't we get going with the uh, skid see if we could get first get that down remove all the bushes and get all the uh, grass and topsoil scraped and I think he said make a pile by the barn which is what we'll do now guys, this is my first time running a 280 here. I'm really excited here. I'm a huge fan of trying out new equipment, including these case. Uh, these are pretty sweet here, but we are getting right to work here. I think, why don't we do as much dirt work as we can, and I'll uh, then take the down there. That way we can get a little bit more room to move around, especially with bushes here. I'm even a bit surprised that is where it is here, but let me know down below, guys. What would you like to see from me with the Xbox series? We are limited with mods and what we could really do, but so far, guys, we've been making some pretty epic videos and there's going to be a lot more to come.
Well guys, let's hop on out of the skid. Let's take a quick look here, you guys, since we are we are actually down to clay, only about uh, uh about just over a foot of topsoil here, which was actually quite a lot. You guys can see there is a pretty big pile here, so we should be able to use this to help on uh, different fields or any other areas that do need a little bit more soil. But so far, guys, uh, this skid has been uh, pretty good. Now I will say, usually I'm a big fan of tracks, but I, I do like having a mixture of tracks and uh, wheeled skid loaders. So I think why don't we uh, get going on? On the excavation we have to ex excavate I believe about five feet more than what the actual foundation is so that's about 45 by 65 and then it, uh, they are actually gonna come on and put it in today so in one day guys the farmer is gonna get a brand new machine shed which should be a lot of fun but I think we'll leave this here that way we could haul the dirt back and forth but it's gonna be some excavation time Now it's so cool we could have mods like this here on the Xbox. So like I mentioned guys, mods are limited, but uh, we still do get some pretty sweet ones here, which is always exciting, and I can't wait for what's to come here. Hopefully in FS22 we could get some more brands in game, some more cool things, uh, because the mods just keep getting better and better here. But guys, this excavator is going to get it done pretty quickly. I mean, this thing is huge, a lot bigger than our old one. Hey, maybe it's a good thing our old one kind of broke it down, and we can't use it here to get any uh, problems projects done and we just keep renting and hey that maybe that's the way to go we don't have to do the maintenance because the bigger the machine the uh, more expenses and everything we are going to have here but I'm actually going to excavate this and this has all the lasers everything we need uh, to make sure we're digging down to proper depths everything like that so and then I'm going to use a skid to bring it over there that dirt pile by the end today guys is going to be a small mountain uh, and that is going to be perfect for the farmer but getting to use these controls it is a little rusty but so far you guys guys and see look at that doing a pretty decent job here at it Well guys, I just finished hauling in the last of the gravel, two truckloads, 40 tons of gravel. That should be good to get the driveway done here, but look at that guys, we have the brand new polar bar and about the 40 by 60 is now done. The last piece of the puzzle, like always, is just going to be doing the gravel here. The skid should make quick work, a little bit more grass we have to get cleaned up, and this farmer is going to have a nice brand new shop to put all of his equipment in, but before we get going on that, I really want to show you guys this because this is a brand new building. Some pretty sweet doors on it and just look at how fancy this thing is wow look at the inside it actually has a huge uh, door over here as well let's see if we get this thing opened on up full hydraulic door and it looks like that was the lights and maybe it's over here Look at that guys, a full hydraulic door here. I believe it's an 18 foot door. Almost any combine, any tractor uh, can get inside there, which is pretty sweet here. We do have a little bit of gravel work to do on this side and that dirt pile is gonna get even bigger by the end today. But let's hop on the case and let's get all that gravel spread on out. Alright, let's get a full bucket load here. Now, guys, I am trying to be as realistic as possible. Even though we are limited, I will say, guys, roleplay has been on point here. It's been a pretty good uh, run so far here with the Xbox. And I have so many cool videos, ideas, and things planned here for the channel. But, guys, uh, spreading out 40 tons of gravel. This might take uh, probably almost an hour to do here. Right around it, uh, 4 inches thick is what we're going to do here. We really don't want to bring in too much. The farmer was on a budget, and we uh, pretty much have to do... Uh, what he wanted us to do uh, depth wise in different areas like that but right around four inches I think is pretty good you really don't want to go too thick maybe a foot because you're gonna have a lot of settling when the subground is so well compacted, I don't really see a need to kind of tear it on. I'll put all new sub uh, pack in, like road pack, and then gravel for the driveway. But I'm going to put down the camera, guys. I uh, get focused here with the skid, and let's see if we get this done uh, pretty quickly. Well guys, there we have it. The gravel driveway is done. We have right around five tons left. And I'm going to leave that for the farmer. Here's a tractor with a loader. He can spread it out, do a little bit of touch up over time as it does settle that little bit here. But I will say guys, for a full day's worth of work, we put in a brand new pole barn. And we got the gravel uh, driveway all done here. So I'm going to get everything loaded up. I'm going to get back to the shop and then I want to go home and play a little bit of farm sim. But guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next next one and subscribe for more.